As you can tell right out of the box, there's not much assembly required. However, you will need a couple of tools, and that is a medium-sized Phillips head and a 10 mil spanner. The parts you've got to fit, the brake assembly, which goes up here, that has two screws and the assembly's already together. There's also two locking knobs, two sleeve spacers, and two flat washers. And of course, it comes with the manual of operation and also assembly, which I strongly suggest you familiarize yourself with because it's got some good stuff in there and we can never know too much about a machine that we've got. First, we install the manual brake pad. Two screws, goes in the recess provided and screw those home using the Phillips head screwdriver. While you're in this area, it's not a bad thing just to make sure the screws on the cover are done up tight as well. That's the brake assembly installed. Next, get one of the table adjustment knobs, put a sleeve over it, and then a washer on the end. Lift up the table and the line, the locking knob assembly with the exposed screw thread in the angle finder and screw it home. Do the same on the other side, the locking knob, the spacer sleeve, followed by a washer. Screw that home. So now you've got the locking knobs, which will allow the table to tilt. One more job we've got to do, and that is to adjust the table laterally into the disc itself. Underneath the table, you'll see three screws, one there, one there, and one at the back down here. With the 10 mil spanner, loosen off the screws using the screwdriver. Adjust it so it's square to the sanding disc. Tighten the knobs up. Slide the table in towards the disc so it's approximately three millimeters away from the disc. Hold the nuts under the table with a 10 mil spanner and tighten the screws from above. And the same on the other side. And that's how simple it is to assemble the disc sander. It's an idea to wipe the table down just to make sure there isn't any grease or lacquer on it before you use it. With your mitre box, make sure it runs smoothly in its track and it's ready for use.